morning guys this is another bug lottery video uh, you know i've got like c++ plus c++ plus thing up and running now so let's look at what's left oh, i've got 14 bugs right so let's do it uh, right then so minimum value is zero, maximum will be thirteen because zero is inclusive. Thirteen, last one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I said I'll do it. So bug where between level loads and ammo swaps somehow fireballs go to all. Three. Right, so yeah, the fire modes need to be persistent to the particular weapon. The fire modes are kept on. Um, second, the fire modes are currently kept on a very old setup of this. Um, so there we go, where's fire mode, where is it, where is it going, it's here somewhere, no it's close, single, there we go, single, best auto. So the fire modes, when you change weapon, uh, it looks it looks at this data table, and if you've got like the PDW, which we've got highlighted, it goes, okay, PDW, so best, full auto. And if you unequipped it and you go to the handgun, it used to, before I upgraded other bits, and it's meant to, go, okay, single. And then you go back, you go, okay, best for the full auto. So, the best way to describe it, I like real life. So we're trying to make it like real life. And the issue is, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Alright, I'm back. So the issue is where between level loads, ammo swaps somehow, and level loads and ammo swaps somehow, the fire modes just go to all three. So it, it's just doing all three, which is interesting. Um, so let's see. Active fire mode, if it's single, then the fire weapon. If it's best, then fire the weapon with like a macro to go like best, 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 stop, best, best, best. If it's full auto, then just, just fucking send it, just ruin them. Just say, sorry, it should have swore, just fire lots of bullets until it's empty. Okay. So this kind of kicked in when I added in an active weapon concept, which was then itself added in when I, let me just go to another level so it doesn't crash itself added in when I created the equipment slot with more than one weapon so you need to I needed a way to define what was active what was inactive oh, that's pretty snazzy now uh, right okay so let's firstly oh this is gonna be a long one guys this is gonna be a long one Right, so let's look at the debugs. Do I have one already? I might do, but not in its current form. Debug active weapon, what's in there? Uh, no. Let's make a new one. Right, duplicate, debug. Fire modes. No, let's do active weapon fire mode. So we will get fire mode, and we want the string, not the side. Do I have active? So active fire mode. Let's do active fire mode. Fail available so one that's being used right now one that's available okay let's do game instance 
the actual variable that we've already done. And we want John. We want active. Oh, you want me to crack it open? Fine, 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 fine. We'll crack it open and then we'll put it, put it back together again. Humpty Dumpty. Have I not got active? Have I, have I not added any active variables? Um, I guess I only really need the active weapon and it, then it should be this. This is a, like a proper war zone. Um, okay, let's have a look. Um, I guess no. Nope, nope. John. Uh, main weapon. Ah, oh, because I was in the middle of doing the functionality. An active weapon is part of. Uh, it is part of. This. I mean, right in the middle of it. So it's okay, cool. We can still do what we need to do. Right. So. Ignore the level loads, we'll do that step two. Let's look at ammo swaps uh, or weapon swaps. Let's look at step one. So, uh, delete that. We, let's do John, comment it, um, include GI versions. So, when you load a level, when you save a game, when you go into a new level or you save a game, these variables get fed into the game instance. Uh, these don't yet, but they will do into this uh, struct. Right, so that's part two. Part two. Part one. Okay. Let's just call it. I don't know. Active weapon. Current fire mode. I'm going to regret doing all these acronyms. Okay. Then we want active weapon available fire mode. Oh, too many spaces. No, it'll do. Pin, pin, pin. Drag it out. Get that. For each. Lock it up. Hmm. Hmm. How is that gonna do it? Oh, it's gonna do multiple rows. It's all right. Multiple rows is cool. We could, we should still be able to figure out what we need to see. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit tired. It has been a long day at work. Trouble in paradise. Okay. Uh, so I have what is that commit? It's not committing, is it? Whatever it's called. Validated it. Uh, okay. Let's chuck that in. Pop that in there. It'll run on tick. De -de 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 -de. Save. So we're not going to have any weapons, so it should just show nothing or just the text. Ah, you see? Why? Why are you here, single burst, full auto? So this. Right, I bet I've already know the answer. It's like, you know when you know the answer, even before the words come out, essentially, you just, you can't get the words out quick enough. Active, I bet I've put it in. Yeah, look on your right. I've put it in. Delete. Might not solve everything, but it will stop it automatically having single burst full auto. Okay, so that's that. Cool. Uh, false will be related to something else. Another 
on a blueprint with a print string somewhere. I'll be in jump it between different books. Right. So let me chuck in a pickup item because I'm not gonna do that first level and crash the whole game again. Not not again. Uh, oh, I'm in levels, that's why. Right. Pick up actor, drop it in. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's a placeholder, I need to change it. Got that. That goes there. We want it to be half that size. Pop it down there. We want it to be. Uh, Save. Let's send. No, let's keep the zombie. Why not? Let's keep. I think uh, Richard. Is that you, Richard? David. Oh, sorry. Oh, of course, it's David. Richard's not even. Richard's not even that sort of character. He's a marine. Silly me. There's your privacy window back, Davy boy. Alright, good. I've still said it, so if you pop him in the head, he dies. But, he doesn't have a death animation. Huh. But you're still here. You should be destroyed. Alright, either way, ignore David. Uh, is it F? No, F is change ammo. Is it V? No. Is it B? No. Is it N? No. <laughs> oh my god. Is it X? No. B, C, no. F, no, it's not. I've already tried F. Is, is it? I'm sure it's V. V to change, you know, from burst. Ah, it don't look too bad, that, does it? Some talent, I guess. Oh, oh, no, let's do orthographic. A bit different. Yeah, it really comes out of perspective. Right. Let's see what on earth I've done with this fire mode change. It's not reload, is it here? It's fire mode input. Right, what's fire mode input? Input. Okay. Fire mode. V, I knew it was V. So why isn't V working? Is that because it is not adding it to the active weapon fire modes? It is just when you equipped it going, okay, cool. This is your current fire mode done. This isn't the culprit. This is just the switchy, the switchy roo. This is the culprit. Oh, this, this is deep in the middle of being changed. It worked. I made it all by myself about last July. Oh, I don't need the print strings, that's just historic. I've left it. Don't need the comments really. But I made this all with my own like goggle box internal one. Uh, right, but this is new. Anything that says active weapon is new, there's a new concept as of early September. And right now it's the last day of September. Okay, so this is cool. This is all cool. This is cool. We feed it the current weapon. But why are you not being fed? Look, we're feeding it the current weapon's current fire mode based on the fire mode index. So obviously, if it's set to zero, it's zero. Um, hmm. If you, if you want to know why I've done 5 mode index rather than just setting it to zero. 
I think at some point, and eventually at some point again, I will have it where, just like in real life, if you set your assault weapon, assault rifle, or personal defense weapon to full auto, you just chuck it on your back, you put it back in your hands, you know, you unequipped it, you re-equipped it, it hasn't magically set itself back to best, or its default value has it, like, no, so, the best way to describe it again is real life. So it uses that fire mode and then eventually it resets it in the background. So yeah, we'll work on that. That's a nice little tweak to do in the quiet times. But we need to look at this. I believe that is the answer. I didn't even look at the oh, the tick, to be honest with you. So let's look at the tick. The tick will help me out. <laughs> to the trees didn't even see it right so it is there go away go away ah, go away ah, i'm stuck oh i've made him bulletproof unless you hit him in the head that was a clever idea oh i'm not getting his head oh thank god for that the bulletproof thing was to test locational damage they are most definitely not going to be bulletproof <laughs> in the future so it's it's got it hasn't it it's there i did see it i just forgot that i saw it right this will probably be a bit hit and miss because uh, i mean i've only recently changed it to equipment to so let's be real buggy okay single cool but it's still set to burst but it acts single Is that value not updating and it's the ammo slot I mean it's the ammo widget yeah that should be disappearing but it's not it's the ammo widget it's the text not updating right crack it open ammo ammo display widget red text until it's one of the original ones I did before I didn't, didn't even like do a size box or anything like it's all over the place hmm I haven't even named the variables properly have I oh, not bad oh what are you doing like rocky stuff here so we're looking for red get fire mode info ah there you see main weapon so for those that might not see my other videos, I upgraded the widget to, it used to just be one slot, and that was just like for all weapons, and I did like a, a random equipment slot, you know, you might see me like popping in uh, body armor to test it, and then I did like the armor values on the top right, and I got the armor functionality working. Well. Hmm. I added in all these extras, so no longer was there now a main and side weapon, no longer was there just a weapon slot and you have one weapon at a time, you have the main and side, which is really good because it's then allowed the ability to, if you've got a main and a side in, currently only two weapons, I built a lot of sprite sheets last February, this February gone, I had to take into account all the logics of You've got a PDW on your back, you've got no handgun, you've got PDW on your back, you've got hanging in your hands, you've got handgun holster, you've got PDW on your back, you've got PDW in your hands, handgun holster, you know all those different combinations. Uh, code, I, I drew all those different combinations and did all the sprite sheet stuff and um, the animation source with the paper ZD. The issue being everything used to just be a single slot, single weapon. This used to just be weapon, current, fire mode. And the curse is always, it's always the same freaking curse, isn't it? You have a V1 code. Rather than delete everything and start again, you expand upon and adapt. And this is a side effect of expanding and adapting. But the reference has not been updated. So if I really did it properly, I would have not named 
weapon current fire mode weapon main current fire mode i would have named it active weapon current fire mode because then i would have replaced one for one the old way with the new way rather than add rather than creating this new variable it not being anywhere in the game world except from in the john bp variables and then me having to wire it back in and then delete the old ways so yeah it's a case of i've replaced i've created a new variable to replace the current one rather than just retrofitting a current variable right. knock it out go like that you save it recommit it or no, we validate it execute it so now we will see the text change at least Parkour, where are you? I lost it. Oh, no, David's gonna get me. Oh, David, give me a break. Oh, give me a break, David. Right, there you go, full auto vest. Let's light him up. Oh, that didn't work. There's a problem with the projectiles. Well, they're not on the fucking ground now. They didn't originally. Again, played around with the projectiles, broke some and fixed something. Let's see. Yeah, so it loses that. Let me show you what I mean with the two things on. Now you see, can you see it properly? I don't think you can. Let me put the light on. You see, he's got it on his back. You holster it, and I've got it like that. You knock the PDW out. You've got that. You knock that out. He's got that. You put that. You put it. Hands, you got like that, you got boom, look at that, look at that, slick. You wouldn't realize I'd spent <laughs> days drawing all the slight differences. Oh my god, look at that, nice and slick, vaguely. Okay, so that's that, but we've also noticed the other functions are a little bit slow. They're slow to like the catch up, aren't they? Um, something didn't look quite right like we removed the weapon fire mode disappeared the other stuff didn't because the other stuff is probably still looking at main or maybe not main but not completely actually because it did change but something is slowing it down that's cool main uh, ammo you got in your gun available ammo that's cool that's fine consume we don't even use this anymore it was just me testing it a while ago. If that was connected, I'd probably delete it. I'll just keep it. Up. Okay, so we've got the ammo type. But that's just then. Is that any ammo type? Is that main ammo type? Let me let me have a little look. Have I just called it ammo type? Active ammo. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly the same as before. A uh, bit of background. you've got a weapon if you've equipped it you've equipped a new weapon your old weapons ammo type and weapon name gets put into a map that is that map is then used to do things like okay so the unused ammo put that in its own ammo map so then if you ever use that weapon again you've you fight you've got 30 rounds in your handgun you fire three rounds off you unequipped it, you re-equipped it, you've still got 10 rounds in that handgun. It has not re it not added the added from the maximum magically. It has not emptied your clip. It has not reloaded for you. It's that re again, realism, make it like real life. That is what that's doing there. And this is what this is essentially this whole bit and that bit and that bit all relate to what i've just discussed there so the ammo type's fine because the ammo type will always have be the current ammo and the last ammo type will only ever be the, the last ammo type and then they're progressively just added like rows added in and then borrowed back but like almost like slotted to slotted back in like a cassette when they needed and then ejected and then slotted back in so that's that's fine let's just Watch it one more time. And 
light of perspective. Quit. Yeah, that's cool. We change ammo type. Yeah, that's cool. Kinetic armor piercing. Oh no. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, okay, we did him. He's sleeping. Unequipped, that's fine. Unequipped, yeah. Persistent, that needs to drop off. Otherwise, you can do stuff like this where I've just changed that value. So, when we are empty, we want to drop it off. So, oh, I don't really want to do it at widget level. I want to do it at like variable level. I don't want to mask it with the widget. So we've unequipped everything, so this isn't, it's not this. Uh, it should be, is it holster? Is it hol did I do it in the holster? Holster toggle. No, because that says put it away, put it back. Um, not ammo, it's not reload. Shoot, it's not shoot. It's just the variable names. We need to make the variable names drop off. The variable names. It's just name and the ammo type. So we need the ammo type to drop off for the ammo type. But then we have like the weapon name, don't we? It's not that one. Active fire mode, no. Oh, what's the weapon name? Have I put it in something else? Oh, ignore me, I'm being stupid. It's not the weapon name, is it? It's the ammo name. Because it's PDW armor piercing or service pistol kinetic. It's this. Right, so that needs to, ammo type needs to know when we empty it, when we, when we holster it. Mm. And the other thing is the ammo in it. Ammo also needs to disappear. Right. I think it's a show hide issue, like natively on the thing. Ammo widget create. If the ammo widget is viable, then show it. And then that becomes the ammo widget. If it's not, then create the ammo widget. Z order. Right, and then we have a holster function which toggles the initialization oh no that's create and there's a toggle there we go holster so is holster true make the widget invisible otherwise make it non-hit testable so it's visible but you can't touch it hmm okay so is, is holster the problem is it not being is holstered like holstered is it not being holstered Let's see. Uh, right. Function. Debug. Oh, I've, no, I've got you here somewhere. There we go. Well, we know. We know that's cool now. Save. Play. Perspective light is so holstered true, holstered false, ah there we go, there we go, I remember the moment I did it, I just like sensed it. When you right click, it's not going, hey you've, you've holstered it, it's not giving you a heads up pack. So, it's right click on the slot, so it's right click on the slot, then it's the equipment slot, so then it's right click, so is it preview, mouse button down, because right click, is right click even there, 
I did a tutorial like a year ago and it said right click and then someone put in the comments that no you need preview mouse button down right click it doesn't work anymore um so right so mouse button down true so you you press right click you want to quit it yes you've handled it if you want to quit it can't have it I can't have it just say unholstered because it's more than one slot now so it's not that simple master and equipped ah, this is one of my more recent fabulous creations equipped and equipped category so if we right click main slot then we know it's main slot okay cool so we've got main slot uh, let's do let's narrow it down we've got main slot main weapon yeah we knock off the variables but we don't knock off holstered do we I see that's a toggle you see because if you right click it then it makes if you've got the main weapon in your hands and you right click to un unholster it then your side weapon then becomes your main this then allows you to not have to uh, unholster both put it back in it's like a flip-flop the side one has like it has a toggle active weapon main I just yeah it's just a flip-flop so really we can just add a is holstered true here potentially is holstered true and then Remember this is main. Let's go back to slot. Oh, let me go back here. Go back to the side. There you go. You can see it's a flip flop. Uh, is holstered true? Because there's only ever one is holstered. Uh, yeah. Right. See that? Save. So what are we expecting? We are now expecting when we right click to unhold to holster a weapon or essentially remove the weapon right click is remove back to the inventory from the equipment equipment men uh, slot to the inventory slot we are expecting is holstered true so we are then expecting the ammo widget to disappear if we then press holster the H button again it is holstered true so they're pressing the H button again with the is holstered false we will unholster it and we will, we've got main weapon drop it so then it's holstered sidearm we press holster then it'll be an unholstered sidearm if we and then we vice versa it's the other way around flip flopping it right light perspective Don't make me do it, Richard. Oh, David, sorry. Let's do it then. There we go, he's gone to sleep. Okay. Right click. Gone. Is that because I put them both on at the same time? No, it's, it's the issue still persistent. Staying true. Right, um, it's triggering true, but it's not firing the function, which is then supposed to make it disappear. Right, so it's not necessarily the true false, it's the function we need. We need to trigger the ammo widget function. Do we want to trigger it? Let's trigger it one step out. Oh my god. Yeah, oh yeah, it's fucking progress. <laughs> oh dear. Give myself a fright. Um one step back. Widget. Not widget. 
uh, master unequipped one step back uh, we are call this radion john's blueprint just to make it easier uh, ammo widget toggle which ammo widget the ammo widget oh, i would have guessed it the saved ammo widget really do one each I feel like I should do one each it's gonna cause problems isn't it if I try and converge them together you know it you know it. if I converge it into one return something bad's gonna happen that I'm not gonna figure out for about three months keep it simple stupid let's try that right so we unequipped it boom it's holstered true then trigger the Ammo widget toggle check. Okay. Play again. Light perspective. Oh, he's, he's feisty, isn't he? There we go. Uh, right click. Great, cool, gone. Uh, quit. Equipped is fine because equipped does not automatically unholster. You need to unholster manually. Equipped. Unequipped handgun. Oh. Unequipped handgun unequips the whole freaking thing. Oh no. Doesn't unequip the whole thing, but holsters the whole thing. Oh, that's a version 2 if I've ever seen it. That's. That's some nuance. Fix this bug, create another one. Right, so that's that. So it's persistent, it works fine between weapons, my consume ammo type thing. God knows how, but it's hot standing the test of time, that thing. We need to now do part two, don't we? We need to we need to feed that into the <laughs> The game instance. Let's do it now while I'm on the call. Um, the video. So, really simple. Oh, it's gonna cause drama. Oh, it's gonna cause drama in it. Um, let me think, let me think. I'm gonna have to add it in. I'm gonna have to add it in. I don't have a choice. Right. Uh, I've got to change the struct. There is a possibility it will wipe the values I've put in in the struct. Oh, madness in it. Honestly, it was better than what it was with 25 different variables all being set, 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 set. Um, I can. I'll redefine it. We're in like a version three. This is a version two. Much more clear cut, straightforward than a version one. Again. Version 3 will be better than version 2. It's just an iterative process. Active weapon current fire mode. Watched the thing last night, a couple of days ago, and even though I literally just watched it, I want to watch it all over again. I really like it. I really like the game. I really like the 1980s movie. I didn't think much of the prequel. Um, a bit more the fire modes. Yeah. Um, there's something on the enemies. I've got. I've kind of, kind of. I suppose you could say I've kind of done like the thing with it. Um, to a degree. No, I'll show you it while I'm here. If you really like, wanna. It's not like we need any detail. Enemies. Um. Zombie. Split head. So I've got a version. I've got like a version one, you see. Look at that, you don't really do much. Uh, and see like head injuries so like oh he's getting shot, that's version one. Then I did a version two. He's got like his final form and stuff. You can see like it changed between version one and version two. Because I haven't done all the sprites. So I did it ages ago. Let me get them all up. See, I'll show you some cool stuff. Right, 
There we go. So that's like when you hit him, bits of him come off. And then that's how he starts. But obviously he gets like uh, like sprite body damage. And then, yeah, that's after him being damaged. And then he's like, oh, his final form, his head goes like... And it really, he really does look like the thing, doesn't it? When that when the face comes out on the, at least on the prequel, um, he dies like he splits in two and falls to the ground. <laughs> yeah, like at the time, I just thought it was cool. I never even thought like it, it's kind of like the thing, isn't it? But yeah, it got me, got me thinking. Right. Um, What's the current fire mode? Let's just look at the. I hate having all these up here. I'm gonna get rid of them. Current fire mode available. Fire mode. Oh, why have I done it backwards? Fire modes available. God damn it! Where's my uniformity? Available. Active weapon fire modes available. Duh. Disgusting. Uh, there were strings. One was a string and one was an array of strings, wasn't it? Okay. One day you'll see me doing this in C live. But until I've reached the beta, it's all in blueprints. I'm getting there with C. No way I could code this thing right now. But I know enough to be able to be knowing more. Save. Now I'll populate in here. It might wipe it now, it might wipe it on compile. No, it didn't wipe it, but I bet it will do. Uh, we'll leave that blank, because it's blank. We have a save game here. Should be fine, because uh, that's the save machine. That's like, like a typewriter in Resident Evil, but right now it's a wall bucket. <laughs> there. Yeah, so John, it's John. Uh, I'll have to compile it, but... Yeah, I see, it's cool, the save's empty, because the save is meant to be empty, isn't it? Like, it's there's nothing there, it's not being, it's not started. Okay. So now we need to do save load. Let's do something radical, and let's stick that there. Close all to the right. You know, I might watch Escape from New York. Um, I think Escape from LA is the second one, isn't it? I watched Escape from New York, which is like John Carpenter as well, and Kate Russell. It feels oh, like if it had zombies in it, oh, it'd be like oh, peak. But, alright, uh, anyway, I'm digressing. Uh, load is cool. Load is cool, it's just gonna go struct to struct. Doesn't matter what's in the struct, it's the saves we need to look at. Also, save. And other save. It should be a nice and tidy little job. We should. This is where you see what the structure really are better than how I used to have it. Uh, right, so let's just get the variables quick. We don't care about the active weapon, you see, because the active weapon is held in the equipped slot and at runtime it pulls, looks at the. the, the struct from the item and just feeds it back in you might be thinking nick why do you have data tables why do you have structs good point historic transition period so that's what it's both i try to think of what people will be thinking themselves and answer the questions to be helpful rather than all just being one big question mark and you need to use like five other youtube searches right also save done. Really, I should just, I should just find a way to glue them together. But I won't do. I won't do. I'll break it. I don't mind it, but it's that's the only extra repetition I do. Save. Oh yeah, I just realised like as of yesterday, season two of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon's out, uh, and I still haven't watched the sixth episode of uh, The Ones Who Live. Oh, I'm so glad when Rick was back. Um, so yeah, I need to catch up with that as well. As you can tell, I like zombie stuff. Decent zombie stuff. OK. 
Okay. So now when we go between levels, it will or the ammo widget will just behave as it's supposed to. There is that one bug where if we remove if we unequip something that's not ah, oh, should I just fix it now? Let me just fix it now rather than being naughty. And then I'll let you all go. Oh, I don't even know how long this video is, just like well it's longest. Equip the slot. Right. If right, um, true, yeah. If main weapon name, if main weapon name. Why is it oh, set? Yeah. If we main weapon name equals active weapon, then unequipped it. Then oh, no, 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 no. Then is holstered true because you've got the handgun in your hands. You unequipped it. It's gone. But if you've got the handgun in your hands. You unequipped it, you don't want, you unequipped your submachine gun on your back, the handgun would not be gone, would it? Real life rules. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to have a rest after this, you know, I'm going to watch some zombie stuff. I might pay for that AMC subscription. Watch some Daryl Dixon. Right, so if it's true... Is whole straight if it's not true then go to toggle regard toggles oh wait a minute wait a minute uh, no 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 that's cool I was thinking I put the wrong toggle in this should still be cool yeah it swaps the weapon but that's that's relevant for what we're looking at that's not that's, it's, it's fine um, I was thinking that was the reason why it unequips, but it, it unholsters, it holsters, but it's not, is it? It's this. Grab that. Save that. Chuck that into, this is main, change into sidearm. So now we look at sidearm changing to main. Oh, it's a labour of love. The good news is, at least I don't need to YouTube tutorial as much. I can kind of just, very fortunately feel it to uh, I guess that's like the simplest way to describe it if the this is where copying code you need to remember if the equipped side weapon name is equal to the active then do it for the unequipped side weapon Easy to get caught out with this stuff. Right, save. I control shift S by the way, I save the full thing each time, I don't just save the blueprint. So what happens when we play it now? We are expecting if we have we already know the widget works. We're expecting if we have the handgun in our hands, submachine gun our background, we unequip the submachine gun, the handgun still stays in our hands. It's like we've just dropped it off our shoulder. Light, camera, action. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's making a star. There we go. Somehow cuts his head. Ah, yeah, tough day, obviously. So, we've got it. And we've got the answer. Oh, no, couldn't hang on. Oh, he's only gone and done it. not set the abilities to switch between the two that is the active thing that I'm working on you know the thing that gave me a fright that is this this has not been set up yet I'm in the middle of it okay so let's do it artificially um, first come first serve oh, 
fast in yeah, they're not fast in fast out is it? Um go like that. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, we've done it. We've not only done part one, part two, we've also fixed the bug that we've created while creating this while fixing this bug. Right, thanks guys. Uh this this little thing's good. Because mm -hmm. I would not have done this. I would not have done this for probably about a month. So it's like forcing yourself to sit down and do it. So we'll save it. That's that book done. Yeah, that's great. All right, I'll, I'll update this. And I'll see you later. Uh, I'll add the chats in. See ya.